Uh, think of the group, but think overall of the shoulders. Uh, you must feel that the benefit, the benefit, Claire, is there. Uh, having right. better balance, getting better balance from more elevation of the withers. Uh, we forget, uh, we many times forget that balance is coming from engagement of the hind legs in combination with elevation of the breathers. Uh, and many times we forget elevation of the withers. Everybody agrees with engagement of the, uh, of the foreleg, but we don't speak very much of elevation of the withers. Mm -hmm. When you, we ask for a lateral flexion, the horse must not give a direct flexion. Right. Uh, if, if you allow the horse to give direct flexion, after that, you cannot get a lateral flexion. So you ask for a lateral flexion. No, no, I know, I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. Nah. Okay, right? Good, good, right? Good. Huh? You first ask, no, you first ask for a lateral flexion. Good. And after that, after that, you allow the horse to close the angle. Huh? And same thing to the left. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. Yes. Good. La. Good. Up, up, up. Good. Okay. okay. It, what, what you did is that. You see? Giving lateral flexion. And then when the horse is giving the lateral flexion, clear, though you allow the horse to stretch. But you see, clear, I keep, I keep, I keep light, soft, permanent compact. Huh? It's not. It's a release of the rein, if you, we want, but after that, it's very helpful for us if the horse is used to follow our hand. Huh? Because after that, Claire, you must follow our hand in the every position huh, of the head, that is, now to the right, okay, to the right, okay, down, from activity.